Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about a huge and new metaverse fund on Hedera. So on the 7th of April, the HBAR Foundation tweeted details in regards to a new metaverse fund on Hedera. So the fund will be geared towards providing support to development surrounding NFTs, fashion, social platforms and gaming. So the fund put forward by the HBAR Foundation is approximately worth $250 million. So the fund is primarily geared towards attracting large consumer brands to build their metaverse offerings on Hedera. So as mentioned, the Metaverse Fund will go towards providing support for initiatives surrounding blockchain gaming, branding, sports experiences and institutional Metaverse opportunities. So the fund put forward by the HBAR Foundation has already attracted a large organisation in sale. Cointelegraph detailed this development where they stated, The fund's inaugural recipient, Sale, operates an owner relationship management platform focused on strengthening the commercial connection between brands and consumers with the integration of Web3 mechanics. So Sale deciding to build their Metaverse platform direct through Hedera, coupled with the support they'll be receiving from the HBAR Foundation, could be quite significant for the overarching Hedera network, most notably due to the significant and sizable influence Sale has with a number of organisations around the world, where Sale has direct partnerships with the likes of L'Oreal and the Brussels Airport. So the lights of the Brussels airport and L'Oreal may take advantage of the metaverse development Sale is entering into. Most notably, both organisations may take advantage of the NFT or tokenization application connected to Hedera and now Sale. So for example, the Brussels airport could take advantage of the NFT application associated with Hedera. And this will mean that the airport could issue tickets in a form of, of a non-fungible token. This will be quite beneficial as tickets will be in an electronic form and there'll be a lower risk of such tickets being of being forged. And this is all due to the immutability and the high degrees of security offered by the overarching Hedera network. So in response to this new Metaverse development, a representative at the HBAR Foundation, Ian Alex Rossman, stated, it's really that tooling combined with Hedera's technology, speed, low fees, sustainability that makes Hedera and partners like Sale the, the obvious choice for the enterprise Metaverse to flourish. So coupled with the sizable fund provided by the HBAR Foundation, which is primarily geared towards providing monetary support to developers who wish to implement metaverse initiatives into their frameworks but also due to the inequalities and benefits associated with Hedera which may attract more developers including Sale to build their offerings on Hedera. For example, Hedera offers high degrees of scalability, cost effectiveness and is eco-friendly. So currently the Hedera network is able to process 2.6 million transactions per day and finality rates surrounding these transactions can occur in seconds. So the scalability associated with the Hedera network is coupled with the cost effectiveness and the predictive nature surrounding tokenization through the Hedera tokenization service, where it only costs $1 to actively mint an NFT or any type of token through the Hedera tokenization service. And this is regardless of the amount of traffic occurring on the Hedera consensus service or tokenization service at a given time. And this is quite unique, especially com compared to other DLTs, as tokenization fees amongst other DLTs are typically determined by the amount of traffic occurring on their networks at a given time, for example, the Ethereum network. So the cost effective nature surrounding tokenization on Hedera, be it NFTs or fungible tokens, be it either non-fungible or fungible tokens, will mean that the likes of Sale and an extension its partners, including the Brussels Airport and L'Oreal, could actively mint NFTs or any other type of token at cost-effective rates. And this will mean that such organisations can keep track of their marginal cost more effectively and the fees they pay will be denominated against the dollar. So such organisations won't be exposed to the volatility associated with fees if the fees were connected to a given cryptocurrency, including HBAR. So with a sizable fund put forward by the HBAR Foundation surrounding developments to the metaverse and NFTs, this could be quite significant for the overall Hedera network, especially if we go by a statement made by Kevin O'Leary where he sees NFTs being bigger than Bitcoin. So if NFTs do reaches the same or overcomes the market cap, um, of that of Bitcoin, this could be huge for Hedera, as the minting of NFTs, even though they're denominated against the dollar, HBAR tokens will be actively required to validate such transactions. So as more NFTs are actively minted, this will mean that more HBARs will be actively required to actively verify such actions. And as a result, the demand for HBAR will increase. And over time, this could lead to increases to the price of HBAR, especially over the long run. So the following clip features Kevin O'Leary going into detail why he sees NFTs potentially being bigger than Bitcoin. Is NFTs um, on the blockchain tied to physical assets such as watches or jewelry or real estate or cars 
provide a, a really interesting attribute that has done previously with paper, but now can be done online. And so you're going to see a, a lot of uh, movement in terms of doing authentication and insurance policies and real estate transfer taxes all online over the next few years, making NFTs a much bigger, more fluid market potentially than just Bitcoin alone. We'll see. So with a sizable fund provided by the HBAR Foundation, coupled with the innate qualities and benefits associated with the Hedera network. More developers may eye Hedera as the go-to platform for initiatives surrounding NFTs and tokenization as a whole. And as mentioned by Kevin O'Leary, NFTs are set to be used by a number of industries around the world, including the watch industry and even airports. So with a number of industries turning to NFTs, this could be quite significant for Hedera as not only will the innate qualities of Hedera attract such developers, but the new fund provided by the HPAR Foundation could be another enticing factor which draws such developers to Hedera over the likes of Solana, which is the current go-to platform for NFT developments. So as well as the Metaverse Fund provided by the HBAR Foundation, the HBAR Foundation has also provided support to drive DeFi developments to Hedera. So developments surrounding the Metaverse and DeFi initiatives on Hedera could be driving factors which leads to more developers, not just enterprises, but general developers, moving to Hedera over other DLTs. And this will mean that Hedera could become more multifaceted and versatile in its offerings, where the Hedera network won't just be seen as the go-to platform for large enterprises. So with the potential for more developers moving to Hedera, namely due to the funding provided by the HBAR Foundation, but also due to the innate qualities attached to Hedera, this will be greatly beneficial for the overarching Hedera network and for HBAR token holders, especially over the long run. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Is Hedera the best option for Metaverse developments? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.